All right. Well, I've been going through the Krakoa hardcovers, and Wolverine was uh, one of the most recent ones to come out. And so I got this. Like all the others, it does skip issues for the uh, X of Swords um, <laughs> Uh, crossover, which is kind of annoying because that's, that's kind of a big deal, um, and so you kind of need that, as well as House of X, Powers of X, to kind of get what's going on to start here, and um, yeah, pretty cool. It's a uh, red book with the lettering on it, much like all the others have their sort of deal, and it uh, opens up with Wolverine kind of dead. The art's really good on this, um, and this is actually the best of the X titles that I read out of the whole Jonathan Hickman like grouping of this Krakoa stuff, and so... Wolverine's kind of sent out, uh, and he, you know, goes on missions with X-Force and the like, uh, and is kind of uh, investigating these deaths. And it ends up there's this, like, vampire cult out, out in the middle of nowhere, and he has to kind of stop them. Now, they eventually capture Wolverine, and there's also an, an investigator we meet over the course of this. Um, and they're using Wolverine's blood, basically, to kind of make them more immortal <laughs> with its healing factors and all that. So he goes back and forth between uh, Krakoa and, and out on these missions uh, dealing with this. And it just kind of builds over time. Now, uh, Omega Red is uh, part of Krakoa because all mutants have gone to Krakoa. And, um, you know, I mean, it's just standard, standard modern art. Uh, pretty much through this. I mean, I don't know. It all looks like modern modern comics all kind of look like they're traced from like stills in a lot of ways. But, um, you know, I, I actually find the, the panels like this more interesting because the, the artist actually puts a little more, uh, I guess, love into it. Um, and there's also this like vampire hunter gal uh, from the church uh, that joins Wolverine at this point and rescues him. And they start to go hunt vampires together. And then, of course, the Krakoa X of Swords kind of kind of stops in the middle of this, um, the whole storyline. Now, eventually, they uh, they deal with uh, these vampires, and the girl gets uh, and their Dracula is involved in this. So, like, if this goes back to like having Dracula in the Marvel universe and and all that, uh, Wolverine ends up uh, at this like auction where like a mutant is being sold. And it's like one of his old buddies from his like secret ops days also. And it all ties in. So they try to sell Wolverine too, of course. They capture him. And eventually they escape. They find the culprits and deal with it in the second storyline here after after the whole vampire mess. And there's Omega Red back in action again. So pretty fun stuff. Uh, this is just solid Wolverine all the way around. And... Um, uh, I enjoyed it, and I would actually read a second volume of it, which is actually more than I can say for any of the rest of the Hickman X-Men line. So uh, good stuff. Uh, I'd call it an 8 out of 10, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we will be back soon.